We're on the hills above Pambula Beach on a glorious day, the 2nd of January 2014. Well, this is my contribution. This is my new Asiko Zoko. I bought this a couple of months ago and I'm exceedingly pleased with it in many, many ways. The steering head has quite an adjustment. I haven't got it in the full vertical position there, but it's nearing to it, which does enable one to sit up straight um, because you're not doing a lot of pedalling most of the time. The speed that I'm able to reach is about 38 kilometres per hour uh, with pedal um, assistance and uh, but normally it's around about 25, 28 uh, just on the twist grip that is situated here. It's a left hand twist grip. It took minutes to adjust to. It's no harder than that at all. I am a motorbike uh, rider and I adapted to it quickly. The controls are very, very simple. I have a digital display there that gives me an idea of the amount of battery I have. I have the mode of pedal assistance that I can select. Everything about the bicycle is quality. I've now ridden maybe 500 kilometers and the suspension is quite pleasing. I chose the Shimano Alfine 11 gear rear hub gearbox simply because it enables gear changing at any point provided the power is turned back. The front rock shocks perform exceedingly well. I may be able to give an indication of the terrain that I'm capable of riding on and uh, as I entered the beginning of this the disc brakes perform very very well. The Tenaro motor uh, is very very quiet um, it has a motor noise to it um, in a quiet situation. The pedal assist uh, sensor is situated here this is a 500 watt motor, desirably um, only to be ridden off road. The battery pack is a 36 volt, 15 ampere hour, which I would give high recommendation to uh, in the consideration of the particular model of bicycle being looked at. I think for the extra between the 10 and the 15, it is a worthwhile investment. With a degree of difficulty and balance, but it has the power to pull me up in first gear. Okay, hope you've enjoyed that. I was doing about 28 kilometres an hour across the grass there, and uh, as you're going to see, the bike is very suited to off-road conditions. This is a add-on that I use for riding my grandchildren around the caravan park. Works very well without pedalling. 
this this is yet another add-on we put our small dog in this when we're riding um, out as a family sometimes or just we're by myself out through the fire trails and the dog sits in this add-on that I've invented That's what I do with my Zoko uh, and Peppy the dog. I hope this has been an interesting view on the joy I've got with this bicycle. Thank you.